grips on your legs, front way, back way You know that I don't play Streets not safe, but I never run away Even when I'm away OT, OT, there's never much love when we go OT I pray to make it back in one piece I pray, I pray That's why I need a one dance Got a Hennessy in my hand One more time before I go I have powers taking a hold on me I need a one dance Got a Hennessy in my hand Hey my love, it's Sinus Marie. I'm gonna describe in more detail the workouts you just saw. So this is band crab walk. Is that the name? I don't know. I'm using a heavy weighted band. It warms up my hips, but honestly, it's a whole workout in and of itself. I do four to five sets of 18 reps. It just depends on how much space you have, how far you go back and forth, but that's what I do. Now this is kind of my new fave hip workout. It's a form of a deadlift, but whichever side has the weight, you're gonna push out that hip. So instead of it targeting just your hamstrings because your hip is pushed out, it gets your hips really good. So I hope you can kind of see the side without the weight. That leg is bent and I'm on my tippy toes. It's just for balance. You don't wanna put any weight on that pointed toe side because then you won't really be targeting your hip, at least from my experience. Um, hopefully I get better at recording at the gym. It's just nerve wracking sometimes, you know? And then here's a back view for you to look back at it. Hopefully you can see my right toe is pointed, which means the weight is in my left hand and I'm pushing my left hip out. I had to stop because it gets exhausting but I'm gonna keep going. These are curtsy lunges. They're literally the worst workouts ever. The devil himself created them. So these target the hip that's not doing the curtsy. So my left leg is curtsying, so my right hip is what's on fire. As you can see, I'm holding onto my hip for dear life because I feel like it's about a pop. And the further out you curtsy, the more it hits the hip, like targets the hip, I mean. Here's a back view of this dreadful workout. I'm just doing body weight and I'm dying. Anyways, this really targets my hip. Like I feel it near my hip dip and I hope it builds the muscle around the dip. I know there's no muscle on the hip dip itself, but if you supposedly build a gluteus minimus, your hip dip will appear less noticeable. So we'll see. I'll be the guinea pig for everybody. Now this is the narrow sumo squat. I don't know if that's the actual name. Frankly, I was like, hmm, what else should I do? And then this popped into my head. I don't know if it was the angels or the devil, but this really hits your hips and a little bit of your inner thighs. So make sure your feet are pointed outwards tuck in your pelvis so like it don't stick out your butt and get low here's my backside and this is when my legs started to feel like jello i don't know if you can tell but i'm kind of wobbly my knees were kind of buckling or going inward and as you can see i'm keeping my back straight i'm trying to get a 90 degree with my legs and my butt i don't know i'm also trying to keep my toes pointed outwards and my knees pointed outwards too so this is the smith machine toe tapper 9000 i say 9000 because your hips will feel like they're 9000 degrees or on fire literally for this you need two risers and one of the platforms and literally all you're doing is tapping your toe onto the platform and then popping right off this exercise is for the babes who want to use a smith machine but not for squats also for the honeys who want to target their hips and feel like a baby deer at the end of it you can definitely add weights to your heart's content i didn't because i'm barely getting back into the gym and i'm not trying to die all of the workouts that i'm doing in this video are pretty much for beginners i'm not a beginner but i have not been to the gym in i really don't want to say this but six or seven months like i literally have not worked out for six or seven months just because i know i have no excuse but I'm not gonna lie to you. So that's why I'm doing these quote unquote beginner workouts with no weights or body weights or just like cute looking workouts kind of thing instead of like going crazy, I don't know. But baby, trust and believe I will get back into my weighted what have yous and I'm not gonna stop until I reach my goals and this is your sign to not stop until you reach your goals too. Now I know this is the last thing you're gonna wanna do, the last thing you're gonna be thinking about, but it's really important, get on that treadmill and walk. I did 40 minutes today. You're probably going to want to hold on to the side, so make sure you wipe down your equipment first. I hope you guys enjoyed that leg workout. It was so intense for me. After I finished off the last rep of that last set on the Smith machine, I was like, okay, I think I'm done. Like, my legs were about to fall off. 
I don't know if you guys did the workout too, but my quads were filling in a little as well. I'm not that happy about because I don't want my quads to grow anymore. They're already pretty big as is. But I guess that's just what the territory comes with. That's the territory comes, I don't know. I was walking on the treadmill. Around the 25 minute mark, I started to feel like a deer, even more so. And I just felt like I was gonna crumble onto the treadmill which is a really good feeling. You work out and you feel like that, you're like, okay, good. I'm glad I feel like this because I actually, you know, did something or whatever. But I felt it all in my hips, a little bit in my hamstrings and a little bit in my quads, but majority of it was in my hips. So I'm grateful for that. And another thing when you're sore is that wherever it is I'm sore, I'm like, okay, good. I targeted the specific area that I wanted to target, you know? Tomorrow is back day. I usually go to the gym between 12 and 1 p.m. because literally like nobody's there and I love that. I'm hoping it's there's not a lot of people because I know rush hour is usually between like four and six, four and seven-ish. So hopefully everybody and their mom has already left the gym by the time I get there tomorrow. If there aren't a lot of people, I will do my best to film my back workout, but I like, Kind of get self-conscious when there's people because people judge you although i keep seeing these um these memes and these videos saying that you shouldn't care what anybody thinks because at the end of the day we're all gonna die and we're just on a planet twirling around the sun like you know it's not that big of a deal but my thing is is that some buddy feels some type of way about me filming they could potentially go to the person at the front desk i'm gonna still film but there can't be a lot of people. So yeah, you may or may not see a back workout from me in the near future. <laughs> I do wanna get started on the Pilates Yoga CD. I have, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. And instead of going to the gym, hmm, it's a good idea. Let's put our corset on. I just ate, so we're gonna keep it a little loose for now. <sighs> so exhausted. All right, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below any other stuff you wanna see, and I will chat with you soon. Bye.